Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to make an ebook in Canva to sell it on Instagram. Not only will I be showing you how to create your ebook, but I will also be showing you a platform that you can upload your ebook or any other digital product on for completely free. And once someone purchases it, they'll automatically receive it. So I'll be showing you how to automate it step by step for completely free. The first thing you'll need to do once on Canva, we're going to tap on the search bar and we're going to type in ebook. So you want to type in ebook right there and we're going to select ebook with multiple pages. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And on this page, you can see that there are numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll across and you can choose any one of these templates. Keep in mind that the templates that says pro or has a crown on it. That means that you need to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free. Let's say, for example, I wanted to use this one. All I would need to do is select it. Then after doing that, we're going to tap on customize this template. Once you have selected customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll be able to add your own personal touches. So for example, right where the image is, you could select that. And from there, you could replace it with your own image. So you could go over to the left hand menu option and select uploads. Then after selecting uploads, you could select upload file and you could upload an image that you would like to replace it with. Or you could go over to the top left hand corner and tap on elements. And from there, you could type in anything that you would like to search for. So for example, man on beach. So let's do that real quick. I can type that in right there and then tap on enter. After you have done that, you'll be provided with some copyright free images that you can use. And once you have found a photo that you would like to use, all you'll need to do is simply drag and place that photo. So let's say for example, I want to use this one. I can drag and place it and you can see right there. After you have done that, you can scroll down and you, quite quickly, you can make changes by simply tapping on the section that you would like to change and you can quickly type in whatever you want. So I'm going to revert back to the original image. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner, then select download. After you have selected download right where you see PNG, we are going to be changing that to PDF. So we're going to select PDF right here, PDF standard. Then we're going to tap on download. After you have tapped on download, what I want you to do next is we're going to be opening a new tab. And in this new tab, I want you to go onto beacons.com. AI. And this is going to be the platform that we'll be using to sell our ebook or any other digital product that you'd like to sell in the future. This is one of the best linking bio platforms and you can do this for completely free. All you'll need to do once on beacons.ai, you're going to tap on get started for free. And when I say free, I mean free forever. As you can see right here with their pricing plan, you'll be able to add unlimited digital products and you can set unlimited appointments. You can offer one course and all they'll do is take a 9% transaction fee. You can also set it up so you can send 500 marketing emails. You can use 10 AI generation and you can also scroll down. You'll be able to create invoices and so much more as you can see right there. So once you're signed up, you'll be redirected to a page like this and we can quickly tap on continue. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and you can see a small promo right here, our example of what we'll be getting. Once this loads up, I'll be showing you what to do next. So all you'll need to do after this loads up, we'll tap on next at the bottom of the page and then we'll continue our tutorial. So you can see right there, let me tap on continue once more. Now we'll be able to add a profile photo. So let me add a photo real quick. You can add any random photo. So I'm just going to be adding a random photo real quick. Let's say for example, this one, 
and I'll tap on open. After you have added the photo, you'll tap on next. And then from there, we can continue with our tutorial. So once this loads up, we'll continue with the tutorial. Now from here you can choose the theme that you like to use so you can see you have three different options. You can also choose the color or styling right there and also the font style that you'd like to use. Once you're finished you'll tap on done then you can tap on next right there and you are you interested in any brand deals if you are interested you can tap on yes but I'm going to tap on no in the top right hand corner then I'm going to tap on skip for now. And I'm going to select skip for now also, as we'll be using the completely free plan. Once you're finished, you'll be redirected to this page as you can see right here. Now, once on this page, all you'll need to do, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select store. After selecting store, what I want you to do next, you're going to tap on get started. Then you're going to select digital download after selecting digital download you'll be redirected to this page and you are now able to set up your digital download so you can see right here you could edit the text section right here to explain how or what your ebook is about you can also tap right here and from here you could add your ebook cover image so we could add our cover image right there so we'll tap right here so let me close this real quick We'll tap on the pencil. After you have tapped on the pencil, you can tap on add image right here. And we're going to tap right there. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now, you can see you have different options, but we're going to tap on upload an image. And let me go back into Canva real quick. Once back in Canva, we're going to simply download the first cover, the cover page. So we're going to download the first page, which would be page one. And we'll tap on done, then tap on download. After it has been downloaded, we're going to go back into beacons and we're going to quickly add it. So let's do that real quick. So once on beacons again, we're going to tap on upload image. So let's do that. Then we're going to select the image right here, then tap on open. So we have now added our cover image as you can see right there. So you have added your cover image as you can see right there. All you'll need to do now is go over to the top right hand corner, tap on product files. Then from there you can upload file and this will be the file that your customers will receive after checkout. So we're going to tap right there and we're going to select the PDF that we had created. And you can see the PDF is loading up. Once it loads up, I'll be showing you how to edit the price and also how to set up the different payment methods that you can offer. After you have done that, you can edit the price right here by tapping right where you see price. Then you'll see the option set price. After you have done that, you can type in the price that you like to sell it for. So let's say $9. And then from there, you can scroll down and you'll now be able to connect your Stripe account right here. So you can tap on connect Stripe. After you're finished, you can also tap on check out from the top navigation bar. And then from there, you can edit the checkout page. At the moment, this is how it looks right there. And you can see how the success screen will look once the person completes their purchase. And then you can see how the email receipt will look. And you can see the PDF right here that they'll be receiving. All they'll need to do is tap on download and they'll be able to download the ebook. Once you're finished and everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on publish, be redirected to this page. 
and from here you could tap on set up payments and you can see that you can connect your PayPal, Stripe, Apple Pay as you can see here. After you're finished connecting them, from there if you would like to generate social media posts using this platform, you can do that. You can also generate AI emails if you want or you can tap on edit right here and you will be able to set up your storefront because at the moment this is how it looks as you can see right there. So if you'd like to make any changes to the design or so on, you can do that. You can also tap on layouts and you could change the layouts if you want or so on as you can see here. Now all you'll need to do is tap on share once you're finished and persons will be able to go onto your page and make a purchase. Hope you found this video helpful and informative.